What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Pokemon Scarlet and last time you checked in we beat this water gym and now we're gonna move on and take on what you guys recommend to be next which is a uh, one of the, the bases, the Team Star bases. We'll figure out what it is in just a second. Uh, I think it's a poison related base and so I have H-Dog as my star leader here in my team because he has a terror type of ground which would be great and he's a ghost so he'll be like defensive against poison and then with the ground uh, attack he'll be great against poison so I think that we're gonna do very very well uh, I can't why can I not ride Koraiden? I ride him over here there we go Koraiden can swim Koraiden can swim I want to thank you guys so much for over 12,000 likes on the very first episode it now has almost a half million views that is incredible I do apologize for uh, not focusing on the series for a few days but don't worry, as things move on and progress... Well, that's way over there. What the heck? What's happened? What's happened? I saw like a... Okay, I'm, oh, I'm going in an elevator. Okay. As things progress, though, we are, you know, figuring out the strategy for how we want to approach these videos. And uh, I think that things are going to be quite quite good going forward. Uh, there were actually two games that I wanted to play that I didn't play. Mostly because I did not want to, like, start another new series and just uh, fall behind again. So... Um, Midnight Suns, I really wanted to check it out, but I just didn't. And then there was another thing as well. I haven't even been to Zapapico. But anyway, you guys get the idea. I'm going to travel over here, and then I was so close to a, to a gym over here. Not gym, a Pokemon Center over here, but whatever. I'll travel here. We'll make it over there. We'll go to the Poison Place. We'll be fine. Going to fly to the spot. I think I got what it takes to do this. So I've, I've happened upon some really great Pokemon who have been persistent in my party and been sticking around. I haven't had to get rid of them lately, uh, so I felt pretty good about that. One thing I want to do, did I just dab? Or did I sneeze? Or what did I do? I don't know what I did. Okay. We're, we would like to buy some stuff because I am going to need some more super potions. Uh, probably like 12. 12 super potions. Pay with cash, please. And then, uh, was there anything else? You know, maybe some more revives. Maybe, like, one more revive. Sure. So that we have ten total. So, yeah, we're going to move on. And uh, I, I just think that things have been going really, really well for me. Um, I, I've been super busy the past, uh, honestly, the past week. The, the Thanksgiving and post-Thanksgiving has been really uh, not, not stressful. Not, that's not the word I want to use, but really busy for me. So I'm going to set this as a marker way over here. We're gonna go here first, set its destination. On the way, we might be, um, I don't know what we're gonna encounter, honestly. Let's pull this out, let's go. We will fight whoever we, we can as we come across them. East Province Area 2. I still haven't seen a ton of major glitches. I've seen minor glitches in this uh, game, but nothing super major. So yeah, um, so what do we wanna talk about? I've had Arby's twice since last time we talked, I believe. <laughs> I don't know if that. I don't know if that's important, but it's true. Uh, what's up? Have I fought with you? Did you know that shops will buy your items? Yeah. Okay. That's that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I think I have been this way. I have been this way, haven't I? I absolutely have. I I've actually scoured this area quite a lot, and the main thing is is that we are on a path to get to the next Pokemon Center so that we can unlock it and save, and then we'll enable like a fast travel to the area. So I've even fought this guy. Um, the real key though is how do I get from where I am right now? Do I really go all the way around to I don't even know what Zapapico is. I think I go I think I go like way around, like way over to this way. I don't even know. This is so confusing. I just don't want to get caught up in it, but it seems like I, I want to go north. If that's even a possibility. I don't know. This is the part that I would probably edit out if I just wasn't sure where I was going. I would just edit it out, and then, like, when I was there, I'd show back up, you know? Like, I'm here, everybody. But, you know, it's a mixed bag when it comes to editing, and it's hard to say uh, what you guys prefer and what you don't prefer. But I've been doing polls on my channel, and I think that's been... Yeah, I've already been over here. I think that's been one of... Something that's very helpful. And, you know, I, I, we did... An, oh, oh, mass outbreak of Wild Ghastly. How's it even... I don't, I don't know if I want to deal with that. Honestly, I, I just want to see if I can go north and then head out. Or is this place completely blocked off? This place almost looks completely blocked off, honestly. It's going to be a real chore to try to get over there. I might just have to go through that town. Unless I can swim up. Oh, dang it, dude. I, I thought that was a shiny. I saw a sparkly eye. 
but it didn't quite work how I wanted it to. I'm gonna run. The roly coly, we're out of here. If it were up to me, I would do zero editing ever, and you would just have to watch the entire video. <laughs> I don't know where to go, dude. But there's an item over here. But you know, someone I did. I, I we Jordan, my, my my friend Jordan and I did a uh, edit of a Splatoon video showcasing Chilled Season. I thought it turned out pretty good. And honestly, like when I watch videos, they are they're mostly edited. They're not just like a straight through playthrough like you're kind of seeing right now. Um, I'm kind of offering the benefit of trying to keep you guys entertained by constantly talking. But um, <laughs> at the same time, uh, hold on, can I go up here? Oh, I think I can. This is excellent news. Okay, great. I, th I think I can totally go around this now. I'm just gonna pick up these items. But we did a, we did a Splatoon video, and I did a poll, and I said like, hey, the latest Splatoon video was it not enough edits, too many edits, or just right? Like 80% of people said just right, and so we actually did pretty good by doing those edits. Then, in my opinion, if 80% of the people like it, uh, so. And then the other half was kind of split even, evenly between there's not enough edits, there's too many edits, etc., etc. There's so much sand around here, my mouth's getting all gritty. All right, well that's your your problem. <laughs> to close your mouth when it's sanding. You're challenged by Esther the student. Is anyone named Esther lately? I don't even know. It sounds like an old name. There's a flower H dog. Am I? Have I face up versus? What does versus mean? What is that? Is that new? I don't even know. Let's uh, uh let's. Maybe we can switch Pokemon. I'm a little, little worried. Fly works great. Uh, U-turn works okay. I thought I healed my Pokemon. I did not, 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 oh, I did not heal my Pokemon. A dog looks like it's set though. It's super effective on like three things. So yeah, um, I'm pretty happy with the edit. I don't know that I'll be doing it with every episode, but the the prime, the primary focus of Zack Scott Games going forward is to catch up on all the stuff that I've started. That includes this game. That includes God of War. That includes Gotham Knights. That of course includes. Uh, the Legend of Zelda stuff. So, uh, I acquired Insomnia. What does that mean? Let's do Ember. I guess. How, how is that super effective, but I'm super not good at it? Oh my gosh, not very effective. I'm just so weak. Let me switch Pokemon. We're gonna switch over to uh, Pikachu, swap that in. One of the comments that stuck out to me though when I was reading it is, some, and I'm paraphrasing, but it was basically like, Zach, you've been doing this for like a decade. You know what works already. Like, like why are you gonna change things up? And, oh my God. Oh, Pikachu, what am I fighting against here? And it's true that I've been doing it for a long time. And that is why I'm more concerned than ever because I have not seen viewing patterns change this much uh, so quickly as I have in the past year. And I think it has to do with the competition from TikTok, the introduction of YouTube Shorts, all that stuff. Viewers' patterns are definitely changing. Like, if you guys are watching this all the way through, I bless you, I thank you so much. You guys are amazing. But I will say um, that it's kind of, uh, you know, long-term Let's Plays are, I, I are going kind of downhill a little bit in terms of what people are watching. And, you know, I'm still doing them and I still will do them, but it's just kind of like, wow. Oh, no, oh my god. What is pedal dance? I can't just die here. What is going on? Okay, fatigue, good. B fatigue. Let's switch into this thing. What the heck is going on here? I have to revive some people here. So I'm trying to adapt. I'm trying to provide some content. And that's why I did like the, the trailer reaction that I did for the Mario thing. Um, because that's a slightly different type of content. And then, so that's kind of what you're going to see. You're going to see me still focus on main series. Then you can also see me kind of uh, supplement supplement that with other videos that really, you know, try to focus on things that maybe like everyone will want to see. People won't want to mind watching for like 10 minutes or something, etc. So that's kind of what we're up against. Uh, not up against. That's kind of the plan going forward. Okay, Sunflower. Uh, please tell me that's the last one. I do not want to do that anymore. I'm going to heal a bunch of people. Oh, Masquerain. So Masquerain, okay, I, I probably will switch up Pokemon, but let me look it up really quick. Masquerain is a, it's weak to fly, rock, ice, fire, electric. I'm gonna have to revive P-Dog for Masquerain, I believe. Oh, I can't be intimidated, my friend, I cannot. 
In my bag, there is a revive that is perfect for uh, P-Dog here. So yeah, um, that's why I didn't start a series on Midnight Suns. That's why I didn't start a series on the Callisto Project, even though I was very interested in both of those games. And uh, I just want to catch up with everything. I don't want to, I don't want, when I did polls, I did two polls on my channel. When I did polls, it was clear that people thought I was covering too many games at once. And so that's the main thing. But hey, you know, we don't have to talk about like the, the, the specifics of it. I'm having a great time playing these games for you. I'm so glad that you guys could be here to watch. I'm hoping to paralyze him. Super effective. Yes. There's a very real possibility that he'll be paralyzed. Uh, the fly should work. Uh, scary face is going to happen though first. And so, you know, here and there we might try something new. We tried something new with this Splatoon video and I thought it turned out really great. And we got a great video coming out soon. It has nothing to do, it's not, it's not part of a series, it's just a standalone video that we're gonna be doing. I think you guys are gonna love it. So, I've narrowed down my guitar choices. I talked about getting a guitar before. I narrowed it down. I think I wanna get an Ibanez. What, what Don fan, what the heck is Don fan? Because it just feels, the Ibanez feels the best to me. I went to a guitar shop, I, I, I put my hands on a bunch of them. A switch over to M Dog here. Grass will do just fine against Don Fan. And I think I I played uh, my friend Samuel's Ibanez in college. His have his had a whammy bar. I don't think I need a whammy bar though. All right, let's hit him with the seed bomb. That's gonna be the strongest thing. I'm, I I outpace this guy by a lot. Oh, one more hit though. Just one more hit. Slam. Do not hurt me, please. You I avoided it. Great. So that's far, you know, I'm leaving these in. I've thought about not leaving them in, but it seems like the consensus is they want to see this in, so it's in. Especially for the this series that I'm, you know, I do all the time and get a lot of views. Like this this series gets a lot of views, so I'm going to stick with it the way that I do. But for like a series like uh, you know, Splatoon, maybe I'll just, you know, try out something new here and there with a brand new series like God of War. Same thing, maybe I'll try maybe I'll try something out. Let's see what I want to do. Incinerate is big, 6100. Um, 6,100. So this is 5,100. This is 6,100. But the, it's a little bit different. This is 4,100. And I think I want to go ahead and... If I ask you, A-Dog, what you want to do, do you want to get rid of Ember? He wants to forget Astonish. That doesn't make sense. Why do you want to get rid of Astonish? Because it's weak. It's only power 30. Okay, that makes sense then. It's a ghost move, but I already have a ghost character, so I think I'm going to take your advice. Do that. I don't think I don't think that ghost move is going to help me, especially at 30. 30 is old news at this point. You know how it goes. So, what? The battle's over? I was still spitting out sand. You were actually doing a really great job against me, though. That was really scary that you were doing so well. I thought I might I might lose it, but I didn't lose it, thankfully. The real challenge, though, is how do I uh, proceed? There's a freaking flamingo there. Hold on. How do I proceed onwards without getting destroyed? Next time I see somebody, I'll just heal or something. You know, heal my characters, revive my characters, etc. But we are heading. Uh... Oh, there's something over here. Let's go see what this is. Great ball. These guys just appeared out of nowhere, too. Oh, is the Pokemon Center way down there? That's so far? Are you kidding me with that? That is so far. Wow. Is there anyone, like, along the way? I'm going to pick up items at the very least. I'm not necessarily seeing anybody along the way. All right. Uh, grab this one. Grab that one. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. There's something going on over here. I don't know what that's all about, but let me go forward. I don't even, whoa, 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 whoa. that guy's too fast. Hold on, let's go over here really quick, grab this. I like how the items are just kind of scattered and you can just go grab them and not have to worry about doing anything else, honestly. Surely there'll be someone else to fight as we approach this area. In fact, look at this place, this place is huge. Whoa. Excuse me, Mr. Goat Guy. Is there anyone over here just hanging out, chilling about? I do not see them if there are. Wait, sparkling the ground. 
potion. Another sparkly right here. Damp rock. That rock is so damp, dude. Uh, let's see. Double sparkles. Heat rock. I got a heat rock. All right, there's someone here. This tells me that one, I should skip it and just go straight to the Pokemon Center, honestly. Like, sure, it's a good idea to fight that, but I mean, like, I really need to heal up and I need to have my, my guys at full health. It's easier to just go to the Pokemon Center and do that as opposed to, you know, uh, trying to slug it out a little bit. I see two people out and about. Maybe there's a third somewhere. Does anyone here want to give me a reward for fighting people? No, they do not. Okay, great. Well, that means I'm just going to save it here. We're close to the next uh, place. So I like to heal my Pokemon. So go ahead and give it to him. So yeah, my goal is to get on a good schedule where I am no longer skipping days on any uploads. Like, I had to skip a couple days... Uh, I was so busy. I was so busy, and I didn't record enough in advance, so that's why. And I do apologize for that. And so, ideally, in the future, you know, I'll be all caught up on a series recording so that I won't miss any days. So you can come back here and, and every day and know that there's going to be at least one episode so long, uh, you know, as the series, you know, is continuing. So that's the idea. There are some games that I will cover just uh, forever, basically, but periodically. Like, for example, if. Well, uh, the, the most obvious is Plants vs. Zombies 2. That's the most obvious example right there. Hey, hold up. Would you? Would I what? I, I will fight you because I need the experience, but would I what? Tag tree thicket up ahead isn't safe. You'll run into a bunch of delinquents. True, I will, won't I? All right, you were challenged by Veronica, the student. Again, quite teacher-looking. That is a giant squirrel. What is going on? One of the... The, what's this versus? Was this part of an update or something? I do vastly outnumber the squirrel, though. In terms of 29 to 25. That didn't work. Is it? Okay. Stockpile does what? You're hoarding your nuts. Stockpile won what? It's defense rose. It's special defense rose. Hate it. Let's do a dig so I can get out of here. And avoid whatever is going to be here. I don't know that H Dog is is the right thing to have in this area, honestly. But I think H Dog will be the right thing to have once we go up against the poison uh, town where these rascals are living. This defense is just going up and up. So yeah, awful, awful. What is this? Is this just like a normal or something? What is this? I would guess this were a normal. And if this is a normal, then fighting is really the only solution here. And um, so. Let's go ahead and switch Pokemon to H-Dog 2. I know I'm H-Dog the first, but H-Dog 2's coming in this time around. And hopefully lays the smack down on these guys. So, big. I know I'm big, 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 big. Stockpile again. Just keep stocking those nuts. I want to make a D's nuts joke. I just don't know if it would be appropriate. So, Battle with a Force Palm. I think that's going to be very effective. I'm 28 to 25. Yeah, super effective. Not very, but super. And it's paralyzed. Perfect. This thing will have to stop stockpiling these nuts or seeds or whatever the heck it's eating. Oh, but there's a body slam. Okay, that was actually annoyingly effective too. Force Palm to end it. Mm-hmm. Don't need to be greedy, but I got greedent. Uh, we might have someone else. Gumshoes. What is Gumshoes? I th is it another normal? If it's another normal, then I'll be ready to totally take it on. Gumshoes is a Pokemon. It's a new type of... Or no, is it new? It's not new. Have I seen it before? Is it just a normal? So yeah, we'll just keep the current Pokemon. And we will fight. And we will, we'll do a lot of damage. That's so small. It's got like a little Trump haircut there. Let's do a Force Palm. Boom! Oh, one hit right there. It was all amazing. All right, I defeated Veronica the student. And then what? Wow, you're strong. I guess you didn't need my advice. Guess not. So I'm I'm gonna try to get out of here really quick. Did I not? Did I not save this as an unlock spot? 
Wait, hold on. Let me look at the map. Maybe I did, and I just don't realize it. Yeah, I did. Okay, and but then over here is where I really want to go. Yeah, it is poison. It's marked as poison. Perfect. Before we do that, though, there is like one more person around. I mean, there's maybe more than one, but there is at least one more person around that I need to fight. I do not know why there wasn't a person there willing to give me a gift for all that I've fought so far. But there was someone, like, is it over here? I know that I just fought this person, but wasn't there someone else, like, down here? Or Whoa, what the heck, dude? Gosh. The draw dis distance on these is a, leaves a little, you know, to be desired. Maybe I, maybe I got them. Maybe I'm misunderstanding that there is two. I thought there were two, but now I'm not seeing them, and that has me super worried that I've made it up in my head, and that I'm going crazy slowly over time, and that eventually you guys are going to have to stop watching Zack's Got Games, and I'm not making any sense. That's the uh, that's my, my number one fear, guys. Number one. Write it down. So I don't know where we are or where anyone is. I'll grab this though. But the the beauty of it is there wasn't a uh, a person here willing to give me anything for you know facing off against everybody, so I don't feel super terrible about missing it. But I do think I came this way, so let me go go, go check really quick. Cause I think I just rocket it, Pat. Yeah, yeah, this person right here. Clearly, I haven't fought this person, and I will. He loves me. He loves me not. Not true. I don't love you at all. If I beat you, I'm gonna tell my crush how I feel. <laughs> and I would deprive you of that by winning? I don't know, Judith the student. All right. Finizen, that's a that's a water, right? That's definitely a water. Uh, so water, looking at the type chart, of course, weak to fire, weak to ground, weak to, no, no, I'm sorry, that's the opposite. Opposite, opposite, wrong. Water strong against those, weak to grass, electric, that's about it. So let's switch over to uh, M Dog and or you know, let's do M Dog because we have Seed Bomb and plus I have the thing that I'm holding that makes my grass attack stronger. So we're sw swapping over to it. Come on, M Dog, get out of here. Here comes a dive, but oh, hit underwater. Well, what do I do in the meantime? I'll just try. I'm probably gonna miss the Seed Bomb, obviously. It'd be cool if the sea bomb could like plant some trees and then like when you pop back up, boom, you're attacked by trees. That would be cool. Everyone admits that this is only level 24. I don't know what I'm doing out here. This seems like super easy. I'm vastly outpowering the trainers I'm up against, which is sad but awesome. Judith the student. Let me go. I lost. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, because she didn't, she didn't want to tell her crush. I should, have, I should have thrown the game. So, uh, let's head back uh, over to this Pokemon Center. And then um, we will find the area where we need to go so that I can take on this next team. Uh, it may not be a team, but it's Team Star. One more heal for me, please. 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 <laughs> she heard me the first time. All right. With that said, you know, what are we looking to do? We're looking to get to the, uh, come back and see us. Okay, I know, I know, I understand. Uh, wrong. Which, which is the map? Okay, so just over here. It's super close. Starfall Street, Poison Crew Base. Uh, it says check details. I want to set as my destination. We're not that far, honestly. And I see it right here. Oh, there's already gates up. Are you kidding me? Or these are the flags that denote that, hey, don't come past here or you're gonna be in trouble. And I'm looking for trouble, so that's perfect for me. We're gonna hit a, is Clive coming around? We'll find out real quick, soon. Mm-hmm. Clive, what's up, my dude? Z-Dog. Hey, Director Clavel. As I told you, the name's Clive. Please don't forget it. Now let's pick up our conversation from, from where we left off before. As I mentioned, I joined Operation Starfall to resolve this a sticky situation and to find out the reasons behind Team Star's odd behavior. Above all, I want to know why the students in Team Star have stopped coming to school. And just like Cassiopeia, I want the team to disband for good. Since joining Operation Starfall with you, I've already had some success in opening up a dialogue with Team Star, and I think I'm starting to understand things more clearly. 
but I don't have enough information just yet. That's why I want to speak to with the students from Team Star's other squads as well. If you intend to take on another base, know that you can count on me for backup. Till then, see you around, Z Dog. All right, great. So if we go into this base, they're gonna have me pick the top three, right? And so if they are indeed a poison base, we are looking at them being strong against grass and strong against fairy. So really, if we're looking at our top three then, we do not want to have M-Dog in the top three. And honestly, W-Dog, check summary, is a, is a fairy type as well. So, you know, fighting is probably fine. And then, uh, so let's just switch out this. Uh, how do I change position? Because I, I do want to change position. Uh, change position. And that's, this one also has a ton of health. So there we go. This is going to be the top three that we bring in. Uh, I think we're going to be good. So... Let's go. And let's find out. We're going to fight another car today, aren't we? Do me a favor and go home already, will you? No, I want to see the boss of the Navi squad. Take me to Don Atticus. Like I said, kid, the boss told me not to let any outsiders pass his gate. That includes you. I don't care. I'm not leaving until you let me talk to Don Atticus. Give me a break, you little doofus. The people over there seem to be arguing about something. What do you want to do? Go say hello. Hey, hey guys, what are you talking about? Huh? Oh great, here comes another rando to ruin my day. I didn't think grunt work for Team Star newbies would be this, this much of a chore. Hold on, Mr. Grunt, I think this boy might be Z-Dog. That's me indeed, I am Z-Dog. Wait, Z-Dog the kid who picked a fight with Team Star? Yep, that's me. <laughs> I knew it. Oh boy, this ain't good. Everyone else in the base is still asleep since we were up all night <laughs> playing video games. Leave him to me, Mr. Grunt. I'll buy some time for you to go wake up the others. Yeah, and what's in it for you? Don Atticus will be in danger if no one's here to defend the base. I owe that man my life. He's my dear compadre. And when crisis calls, one has no choice but to rally those dear to him, no matter the cost. Yeah, I have no idea what you're on about, kid, but, but thanks for the big assist. All right, you villain. If you're after Don Atticus, be prepared to face my wrath. Wait a sec. Discretion is the better part of valor, as the saying goes. Wise choice. Oh, I didn't mean to. Oh, I didn't mean to like back out of the fight. I was like, hey, wait a sec. Wait, wait, wait a sec, kid. Like, oh, dang it! A freaking squirrel bit me. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go ahead and run. Run away. Cause I did not mean to. But that dog would totally chomp that squirrel up. Trust me. All right, one more time. One more time. All right, you villain. Yeah, prepare to face my wrath. Bring it on. Yeah! All right. This is good stuff. We are far away, dude. What the heck? All right, Yusef. Is gulping a poison? I have a ground move dig. I'm going to use it. I'm only level 29, so hopefully... I can dig under and then come up and boom. And if not, then you know, I'll just cry about it or whatever. I'll, I'll blog about it. I'll tweet about it. Tweeting is microblogging. If you guys don't follow me on Twitter, I highly suggest it. I post like a couple times a week, so I won't be spamming you. I always try to post stuff that I like to talk about. Boom, that was super effective, but look, I still, okay, well, let's go again. Stockpile, this guy's gonna keep stockpiling, keep building his defense up. It's gonna take me forever to break through this, but hopefully at the end, the payoff will be that I get a lot of XP. So, special defense, blah, blah, blah. Let me know your favorite guitar brands in the comments because I am curious what brands you like and why. And don't just say because I like the colors or whatever. There's got to be a reason, like you like the pickups, you like the feel of it, you like the fretboard, you like, you know, something like that. Or they just, the tone just sounds good. I don't know, let me know. Because I tried out the Ibanez guitars and just the feeling felt good. Like I, I you know, I don't know much about the tone. I, I went and watched some YouTube videos and, you know, that compared, you know, Ibanez with Gibson and Stratocaster or whatever, you know, Epiphone Squire or whatever it is. And uh, I couldn't tell a major enough difference. I couldn't tell like which one I like better. I, uh, but what? Wait, I, am I really badly poisoned? 
Did you say I was badly poisoned? How did I even get poisoned? I was even there. Oh my gosh. Can we just can we just get this guy? Can we just crunch him really quick? Don't swallow me up. Dang it, you just healed a little bit. Dang it, dude, I hate you. Defense fell though, that's good. Here, attack him right now, please. Now. Hit him. Ah, it wasn't enough. Come on, I'm a little bit poisoned. Come on, I'm ready to go again. Just do it again, please. Another stockpile, oh my goodness gracious. All right. The good news is that surely h Dog will level up after this encounter or the next one. Uh, that's my hope at least, so. There you go, h Dog is barely leveling up. Come on, are you joking, kidding me? Keep the, uh, it's Shroodle. Let me look up what Shroodle is in terms of Pokemon. Because if Shroodle sounds like a freaking poodle dog, but what is it? You know what I mean? Like, what is Shrudel exactly? Shrudel is indeed a poison slash normal. Uh, so keep the current Pokemon. I'm gonna wanna dig, I think. That's cute. Dig, super effective. Lick has no effect, but dig will. What's flatter? What did I, I'm dancing. My special, oh, perfect, my special attack rose. Oh, but I'm confused. I should not take it for granted. I was like, oh, perfect. You just helped me out. Thanks, bud. Just dig. Please dig. Get out of here, please. Thank you. Come back and, and destroy him. Thank you. Here comes a poison jab that hopefully doesn't even get near me. Ace Dog is confused. And I hurt myself underground? What the? Oh my god, I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm in my bag. I cannot have this person die, by the way. Hyper Potion, Super Potion 60. Let's just do the Hyper and get over with it. All right, here we go. There you go, perfect. I'm all the way healed. Poison Jab's gonna hit me again. It's not very effective, but wow, how powerful is that? Can I please use Dig this time? I'm hurt by poisoning again and again. Why am I hurt so bad by poisoning when Dig is super effective? He's two levels above me. Leave me out of this, dude. What the heck? I snapped out of my confusion, thankfully. Let's use Dig. Am I gonna get hurt like while I'm underground and just faint? I was hurt by poisoning while underground. Oh my god, I fainted underground! Are you joking? Kidding me? What? Mudshot is super effective. That's promising. I'm embarrassed. I have a lot of HP with this guy, though, so that's good to know. It's funny how he and how the two H dogs kind of go hand in hand together. Here comes the mud shot. Get ready for it. Flatter me. Yeah, yeah. Confuse me, but make my special attack go up. Whatever. All right, hit him. Hit him. Please. I know I'm confused. Please hit him. Yes, super effective. So I wouldn't normally do this, but I mean, I, I have been doing it lately. I will revive uh, H-Dog because whatever XP happens and is shared, I need that Pokemon to get it. H-Dog and H-Dog 2 both need it, honestly. Uh, 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 poisoned, I'm poisoned. I don't know, I don't know if I've ever been poisoned before. Would I know? I, I have been food, I, take it back, I have been food poisoned, I think. One time, and I don't want to ruin my chance with any sponsors in the future, but I the only thing I think I could link it to was I ate Papa John's one night. And I, I like their pizza, it's, it's something I grew up with. And uh, for whatever reason, this particular pizza, this particular place or whatever, uh, I ate it and then like, I, I went to bed and then I woke up in the middle of the night just feeling super sick. I talk big, but I'm no worrier. And I was, I threw up several times and I was sick the next day. Like I could not, I felt it just like totally sick. I couldn't do much. Don Atticus, I, I'm sorry I failed you. And I haven't had Papa John since. <laughs> Z-Dog, are you all right? I was standing watch when I heard a ruckus of all of a sudden. I got worried that maybe something had happened to you over here. Ah, oh, no fair, you had back up this whole time. 
Is this boy one of the Academy students? He doesn't look like he's from Team Star. You're right, I'm not a member of Team Star, but Don Atticus is my compadre. I have to see him no matter what. Well, clearly you have your reasons for being here. Z-Dog, I'd like to ask this boy some questions. You go on ahead and get started on the base. Might I borrow you for a chat, uh, my man? Don't worry, I won't bite. He better not bite him. Director Clavel, better not bite. I'm getting a phone call. Is it from Cassiopeia? Nice work dealing with the guard. Within that base lies Team Star's poison crew, the Navi Squad. Their boss, Atticus, designs the outfits for the team. You could say he has clever hands. The guy's also a bit of an eccentric. You can never tell what he's going to do next. So since it's beyond us to predict how he'll respond to our declaration of war, just take out as many of the squad's Pokemon as you can until Atticus shows his face. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Navi squad off the map. Are they called Navis in in Avatar? What are they called in Avatar? I don't even re remember. Okay, so how do I? Uh, let's see. Wrong button. Bag. Super potion for both H Dog and uh, how about you? And then is there like a stop the stop the poison antidote? Use this. All right, I think we're set to move on. Then, are you ready to challenge Team Star using the first three Pokemon in your party? Yes. Now, I'll tell you, I mean, I don't, I don't want to get gross, but like when I was sick, Asha could hear me from the other room. I purposely went across the house into the other room since you want to, I want to wake her up. She still heard me. It was quite violent sickness. Seems the folks behind Operation Star Fool are finally making a move against our base. You know what that means, gang. Time for us to shine bright and avenge our teammates. And hey, little intruder, just so you know, if you've got the skills to defeat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, our boss might deem you worthy to meet in person. <laughs> Break a leg. I cannot imagine doing this taking longer than five. So, let's go. Let's send him out. Uh, start. Yes. Which button is it? It is this button. Everyone get out here. Is everyone out here doing their thing? There you go. Big boy out here as well. There is three done. There you go. Smack him around. Smack him around. This is great. Do we? I don't know if we even get experience from something like this. It seems like we don't, but... Pikachu's actually really suffering here. Uh, Pikachu wore itself out and came back to you. All right, is Pikachu just done? I think maybe he's done. I think maybe we should have not brought out Pikachu, honestly. So, that's okay, we got these two. Uh, both H-Dogs in their own right. In their namesake, rather. Uh, dang, dude, my, my dudes, this is this actually been really tough. Can I not heal these guys? Come on. All right, what else we got over here? There's a bunch of smalls. Little mushrooms here. I don't like how hurt I'm getting. I don't know how to even stop this from happening. This is. Can I buy something from here? Can I like level? Uh, can I like heal them or something? Like, what is this? Great! I, I. This is the first time I'm realizing this, but I just heal my party. Perfect. All right. Let's see who's over where. I literally don't know where they are. Toss more out, what the heck, dude? All right, great. 19 to 30. I'm glad I'm able to heal them because if, if not, I would have been in kind of a, a bad predicament. Are you not gonna face these guys? Come on. All right, 20 of 30. Who are they cheering on? Are they cheering me on? I feel like it takes forever to to shoot these things out to face off against these guys. Um, I'm way off base right now. Where the heck am I? I, I totally flipped around. I don't even know where I am. 
Um, oh, they might be up on the hill. That's probably it, actually. Uh, let's see. Sure enough, sure enough. There we go. Perfect. Pikachu's taking a taking a hard hit again. I feel like these guys are not coming out as quickly as I want them to come out. All right. Last but not least, these guys over here. I'm ready. Come on, send them out. It takes absolutely forever to send these guys out. Honestly. Okay, we, we got it. We got it. There we go. Whew. Okay, so. He's way above our level. We got to get the boss. Send in the boss, then. Show me the boss. All right, guys. I just gave H Dog some candies, and now he's evolving. Uh, so let's see what happens. Because I fought the fight, and I lost because he wasn't strong enough. None of my characters were strong enough. They kept getting poisoned. Whoa. Your h dog evolved into Houndstone. Very cool. He's now a ghost. Same thing as before. But he evolved. So I give him some candy. He's now Houndstone. And Last Respects. So sure. What is, yeah, what's Last Respects? It's a ghost move. Uh, the user attacks to avenge its allies. The more defeated allies that are in the user's party, the greater the move's power. Now that sounds interesting uh, because uh, it just does. But okay, so that's gonna be really strong. If if I wow, that's really cool. That's a cool move. I've not heard of that type of move before, but that's really cool. Um, so yeah, sure. Let's forget. What, what does he want to do? Does he want to forget like growl or something? He wants to f forget Crunch. So hold on, it's, just a, it's a big move, 80, 100, that's such a big move. Growl. I should probably do, I should. Let's forget Lick. It's only a 30. I think that's a good idea. All right. So, I'm gonna try to level this up a little bit more and then uh, we'll take it into battle again. All right, here we go. Let's do this right. Atticus. Seems to be a girl. So let's do this. You know, they're going to be weak to ground moves. Uh, you know, H-Dog is going to be great defending against poison. But, you know, H-Dog 2 also has some ground moves. Or one ground move. And uh, so this is going to be a tough fight. I've already lost it once. But I, I'll just cut all that out. Because it took me, like, literally, like, 30 minutes to lose. I had to buy all new items. Pray forgive my sudden entry. Tis I, Atticus. You're that scoundrel Z-Dog, I take it. You have some nerve bearing your fangs at Team Star. Come then, villainous wretch. A plunge and a grim poison shall be your well-deserved fate. On guard. So I got H-Dog leveled up, and so I feel a little more comfortable with this battle. Hopefully it works. Uh, I guess with my new move, if some of my teammates die, that's okay. Because <laughs> I can just use a, a move that's pretty powerful. All right. Atticus of Team Star. Nice fingernails. Let's go. So this is uh, H-Dogs out here. This is a skunk tank, I believe. Not, but punishment awaits thee, wretch. A plague on your house. We'll see about that. Let's go ahead and battle. We're equal level. Let's dig. Hope I can get out of here. Oh my god, that was super effective. I hated that. That was a critical hit. Certain moves can poison with a mere graze. Trimble scoundrel for thy Pokemon's sake. I was not prepared to be hit super hard like that. I don't even know what happened. Uh, Sucker Punch is going to miss me again, but this is going to hit you. And it's going to be very good. Super effective. I need to heal already, so reach into my bag and hope he doesn't Sucker Punch me again. Uh, that may not be enough, honestly. The 60. Let's just use it, see where we're at. 
78. Sucker Punch again, really. But it failed. Perfect. Let me dig out of here. Hopefully, I can just escape it. No, Sucker Punch is going to hit me again. But not as strong this time. It wasn't a critical this time. So I'm going to dig out of this or into this or whatever. I might switch characters after this just so that we have, uh, so we can lose some of them. It would be great to lose like M Dog, but I'll, honestly, I want to give them XP, so it's a little, it's a little iffy thing. It's an iffy proposition here. Uh, while we're gone, Rever Vroom, let's switch Pokemon to switch Pokemon to what? Let's switch to H Dog two, and then maybe H Dog itself we can heal while it's gone. Let's see what we're up against here. Here we go. Rev of room. Room, room. All right, in my bag, I'm gonna go ahead and use a super potion on H-Dog again. If H-Dog 2 happens to pass out, then that, you know, whatever, it happens. Iron Head sucks. What the heck, dude? Battle with a mud shot, please. Come on, don't hit me with the Iron Head again. What the heck? All right, that, that was not good. I'm gonna have to revive them, probably, or not. We'll see. Let's go with, uh, do we have anything else super effective? H-Dog has one, obviously, but it's only five. A-Dog has some super effective stuff, but I just don't know how that's gonna ultimately work. A-Dog might just get destroyed really quick. Uh, but, you know, it's only level 28. This one does uh, 60. Let's try to incinerate him. Bulldoze, I don't like that. Because it was super effective. Okay, great. With two down, I do wonder how my, my move will do if I switch over to... Uh, let's go over to W-Dog really quick. We'll see, we'll see. None of these are very effective. Let's do a water pulse. See if that helps at all. Or, or is Iron Head just going to destroy? The, okay. Absolute trash Pokemon to bring out here, I guess. Let's try H Dog again then. I don't know what's going to happen, but I want to try this move uh, that's supposedly a lot stronger if I have people who have fainted on my team. Uh, last Respects. Assurance. I don't know if I like that. Okay, that was super effective, but I'm still alive. Here's Last Respects coming at you. That was real good. In my bag, I have some, uh... I'm gonna switch Pokemon to Pikachu, honestly. Really quick, because I need to be able to bring him back out. Hang in there, Pikachu. Let's go, can you fly away and hit him? Assurance is gonna hit Pikachu. But sta- oh, that's perfect. Uh, let me go ahead and in my bag then bring out a, another super potion for uh, H-Dog. HP restored. Iron Head's gonna hit Pikachu, dead. Okay, that's okay, we'll bring out H-Dog again. But maybe we'll, we can dig, maybe we can use the last respects or whatever. H-Dog's coming back in. This is an interesting uh, ability here, huh? What can I use that will be just fine? Well, maybe a crunch I can just do. Do you think I can just do a crunch real quick? He could be paralyzed. Let's hit him with crunch. Good. Rever Room is gone. And then we'll last respects the next person. Muck. Keep the current Pokemon. All right, last respects is effective. Let's see if it works well. Oh, that was a one hit, dude. Are you kidding me? That's amazing. All right, Rev of Room again. You think to give me a taste of my own poison? Fie, I will fight until the bitter end. Oh, the, oh, it's the car, okay. Well, here we go again with last respects. Spin out's gonna hit me though. I'm a little worried what that does. What does that do? Not, that wasn't that strong, dude. And his speed fell. Here's last respects, my friend. Oh, that was real good. Okay, I'll just do that again then. Toxic debris all around. I don't know if that's a good thing. 
Last respects again. Please don't do anything else different. That was a great move that you used against me because it didn't hurt me that much. All right, great. Here you go with last respects. Speed keeps falling. I, I feel like I should go first sometime. Oh, that was so good. I'm going to go ahead and heal because this has been a really good fight. Uh, but let me go ahead and heal. I would really hate to for this to mess up on me or him to switch it up and use something new that just one hits me. So super potions coming out. And then uh, maybe last respects again. Although digging would be the best, I think. With his speed fallen, surely it would be time for me to attack first. Last respects. Although I don't respect you, here's some last respects. All right, Navi Starmobile is destroyed. That was amazing. Atticus of Team Star has been defeated. All right, awesome. All right, well, uh, forgive me, my friends. They forgive you, but I do not. <laughs> no. About a year and a half ago, Forgive me, it took a goodly time to procure the required materials. Whoa, sick, these boots are insane. Ah yes, the move flame charge was my muse for those particular pieces. This outfit is everything I imagined it would be. Thank you so much. So this person designed the outfit, I guess. I merely wish to wish to create a costume worthy of the great internal infernal airy if it aligns with your vision. Uh, then I'm content. Seems your our outfit upgrades are all wrapped up then. Thanks a ton, Atticus. With you two looking like absolute beasts, anyone who crosses us will be sweating bullets. You're so good at these sorts of crafty things, Atticus. Those people bullying you because you geeked out over old-fashioned stuff are out of their minds. The way of the ninja is rough and fraught with thorns. I neither expect nor desire sympathy from the unrefined rabble. Ooh, someone's getting fired up. Watch out, world. Our Atticus has fighting words. Yeah, don't listen to the haters, Atticus. I think you're really cool. All right, gang, let's move on to the next step. It's time to put our backs into our battle training so we're all prepared for Operation Star. We gotta be stronger than everyone else in the team. That's what being a boss means. Indeed it does. Henceforth, I will devote myself heart and soul to honing my battle skills. All right. For the sake of my team, of the team, I would give my very heart and soul, but I cannot defy the rules. Our code must be obeyed. And so this badge is mine to keep no more. I entrust it to thy care. Well, thank you. There we go. Team Stars, Poison Crew defeated. I'm winking. Well, there we go. Take this contraption too. It contains a technique that allows one to cover their foes in gunk. Gunk shot. All right. Gross. Z-Dog is thy name, is it not? You have utterly bested me, but thy victory stirred no bitterness within me. Such was its brilliance. Don Atticus, my compadre. It seems this little fellow has been dying to speak with you face to face. Don Atticus, please, hear what I have to say. I only need a moment. Whatever brought you all the way here, I came to help you. If you don't start going to class again, you'll be expelled from the academy, right? When the other kids at school and I were getting bullied real bad, you and the rest of Team Star saved us. Thanks to that operation you carried out, we were able to go to school again. If you got expelled for being the good guys, that'd be the worst thing ever. Forgive me. Haven't you heard anything from the big boss? Nay, we have, we've We've heard not a whisper since that fateful day. Without the big boss, Team Star cannot carry on. And without the team, the bright and merry student life we seek lies beyond our reach. We have no choice but to defend our bases till the big boss returns to us. You evidently trust the big boss of yours a great deal. Who exactly are they? In truth, no one of us has met them in the flesh. By their own word, they are a recluse. As with the rest of us, it would, be, would seem bullying was to blame. That's awful. Though their name and face is unknown to us, they are nonetheless our precious comrade. Our only choice is to maintain our vigils from the bases, awaiting the day of their return. So that's why you don't go to school. But, but still, don't ever think that Team Star is all you have, Don Atticus. You've got a lifelong compadre in me, and don't you forget it. My compadre, I owe you a great debt. So sweet. It seems we're one step closer to the truth behind Team Star's truancy and the bullying at the academy. But more importantly, I can't believe I had no idea about these issues the students are struggling with. They have friendships they hold dear and reasons for acting as they do. I just couldn't see it. It's shameful how, how oblivious I've been. Ha, huh. 
I believe Team Star to be the to be the one and only treasure in my life. Methinks I may have been mistaken. <laughs> All right. You're being bullied because you say methinks. <laughs> just, just FYI. <laughs> All right, but we did good. We did great. And so, we are. Methinks we're out of here. So, thanks for watching. Oh, Cassiopeia is calling me. I'm gonna deal with that first. Z Dog, it's me. Atticus's star badge is now yours, then. I see. Now that its boss has been taken down, the Navi squad's days are numbered. Now Atticus, too. Sorry, I've got a lot on my mind right now. So, Operation Starfall, you've taken down all but two bases, so it's fair to say it's going well. That seems like a good time to let you know what we're ultimately aiming to achieve. Our final goal is to defeat the mastermind that first recruited the five squad bosses and created Team Star, the one they call the Big Boss. Who is this Big Boss? Who knows? They control the five squad bosses from the shadows. That's all anyone can say. If we defeat this person and get them to declare the team disbanded, then that'll be it for Team Star. Since the Big Boss never set up their own base and keeps their identity hidden, I take it they're not one for the spotlight. But once all the squad bosses are out of action, the Big Boss will finally have to take the stage. Now, about your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. Well, there we go. You earn 7,000 LP. That's a lot of LP. You can now make more kinds of TMs using the TM machine. Have your Pokemon learn strong moves so that they can continue to be of use to our operation. My supply unit rep should be with you soon. All right. So here comes the supply unit rep. And it's Penny. Hey there, Z-Dog. Uh, that uh, sounded pretty serious, like a pretty serious phone call. I swear you're Cassiopeia. Agius. Ugh, I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> Get a taste. Ugh. All right. Well, that was great. Now what? What happened? So that mastermind you were talking about, Cassiopeia has mentioned them to me too. Team Star's founder, the person who's caused all kinds of misery at the academy. If we don't take them down, I'll lose what I treasure most in the world. What do you mean? Uh, no, I just... Uh, th that's right. You need your reward. Here, take it before I forget. Pokemon materials. All right, well, I'll be off then. What happened to my dude? Oh, and Z-Dog, don't lose to those guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll try not to. It's tough, though. Sometimes they come in underpowered. But hey, thanks for watching. Come back next time for more. I'll try to be adequately powered for the next fight. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.